Hey gang, I got my first Great Notion IPA. For some reason they shipped a bunch out to Boston. <clears throat> this is called So Wrong It's Ripe. I didn't get the regular ripe that they sent out. That one sold out more quickly. That's like the more popular one. But this seems like it's just kind of like ripe but with honey added. And they say they added during fermentation. And it also uses oats, wheat, and rye. So, not just exactly a basic hazy IPA, but Great Notion is supposed to be, you know, I guess leading the way with this style out in Portland, Oregon. And this is focused on Citra hops. And it looks very hazy. It was canned October 23rd, so it's about four weeks old. And I'm smelling it already. It smells like your juicy Super sweet citra and the IPA. Head's not perfect, but looks pretty good. That smells very good. It smells a lot like a, a really good Trillium Citra beer. It has a big creamy notes in it for sure, though, like creamsicle, like vanilla notes. A lot of the more popular hazy IPAs seem to have some yeast that, and the way that it interacts with certain hops, especially citra, it brings out these ultra creamy notes like vanilla and there's no vanilla or lactose in it or anything like that. It smells very, very nice. The mouthfeel, it's a little spritzy. Pretty sweet. I'm getting some honey notes, even though if it was added during fermentation and they ferment, some of the honey was fermented out. Yeah, it's not ultra soft and creamy. I'm, I'm wondering if <clears throat> their regular ripe has a better feel in this. But this really nails the flavor and everything. It's very tropical. Lots of sweet orange and creamy vanilla notes. Just a little bit of that hop burn <clears throat> um, astringency, but it's helping to offset some of the sweetness. And if they could just fix the mouth feel and uh, the head retention, it died like really quickly. It kind of sounded like Coca-Cola when I was dissipating. Then it would be really world class, but it's not quite perfect. Really nice aroma though. That's good. It's got a substantial mouthfeel, but the carbonation is really spritzy and bubbly. It has a, a bite to it. This doesn't float on the tongue. It's not a velvety feel at all. But worth picking up. I guess it's it's really expensive. One of the most expensive uh, hazy IPAs around here. <laughs> probably, probably the most, now that I think about it. But yeah, the yeasting and the hopping and all that stuff seems to uh, go really well. This is this is a very good beer. Just the carbonation and feel that are a little off. Um, probably a four. It's close to a four two five. Is good. Um, it just a, needs a few tweaks or fixes to make it a four and a half for me. Well, hopefully I'll get to try some more of their beers eventually. That's it.